do it. Eat it. No. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I know, you like to give it to me. How now, brown cow? <laughs> Unique New York. Welcome to the chocolate chip cookie championship at Sweet Relief. What do we got today? Chocolate chip cookies. Let's get into it, you sweet. We decided that it was time for a chocolate chip cookie review. There are probably more than we can ever review. We probably should have even done some recipes where we bake some, like I really wanted to bake just the classic Nestle Toll House. My grandmother said she got the recipe from her grandmother, Nestle Toulouse. <laughs> what was her name? <laughs> Nestle Toulouse. <laughs> Nestle Toll House? <laughs> but I'm too lazy, so I didn't. I could have asked this one, but I was too lazy and I didn't. I already have the So best let's chocolate call chocolate. this round one. What would you like to start with today? I don't know. Let's start with this one. Okay. What we did was ordered three chocolate chip cookies from some of the most famous bakeries. Everything just happened to all be coming from NYC. We've got Jacques Torres is up first. This is absolutely rated as one of the top chocolate chip cookies in the country, and we will let you know if that is indeed fact. Okay, let's just cut it open here. Let's just do this. It's a real flat cookie, and I don't particularly That's like That's not exciting, but it could be the most delicious that we've ever had. We did heat them all up in the oven as per the recommendations, because this is serious business. It's a championship. Cheers. Cheers. Process it. Process it. I'm trying. It tastes like cocoa powder with no sugar in it. I'll give it that. It's not a super sweet one. Texture, fantastic. It's like the perfect when it's heated. No, that's good because it's crunchy on the outside and it's still a soft cookie. That's how, to me, that's how you play in the championships. It's, I thought that it was very crumbly and dry. I, I prefer a crunchy, a crisp cookie on the outside and a soft cookie on the inside, but there is no outside and inside. This is just flat. It's not for me. But we'll see how it stacks up against the other cookies. I also did not, the, the chocolate really was like alkalized cocoa, isn't that what it's called? Alkalized cocoa powder? Anyway. It's not sweet chocolate cocoa powder. It's not chocolate. This isn't chocolate. even a semi-sweet. This is like oh a cacao. Oh my God, let's move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's next? Let's just move from flattest to fattest. Love it. Okay. Love it. Okay, this is Panera. So we threw in a Panera Ooh. and a crumble cookie because let's try stuff that's also accessible. You guys did not see this because it was on the other side of my knife, but when I cut it, this bit of chocolate oozed out of the top of the cookie. Who doesn't like a good ooze? Mm -hmm. That is exciting. For the cookie as well, apparently. I'm sure. I mean, I think this is a pretty standard chocolate chip cookie. I don't know, would you? These are the only two chocolate chip cookies left in the world. Do you want Jacques Torres or Panera? Panera. Panera. Yep, agree. It's simple, mm -hmm. it's baked well, it's got the crispy outside, mm -hmm. soft it's not inside. Too sweet. Yeah. I do wish it was a thicker cookie, but that's okay. Yeah, I think it's very good. Mm -hmm. I also think that it's the kind of cookie that would be good cold. Like if you put it in the refrigerator, okay. I think that it it's it's underdone just enough to survive it and still be okay. Yeah, this is a crumble. Tell us about this. This week, Crumble decided to do a double chocolate chip cookie. Typically, it's just the lighter milk chocolate chips in there, and they have that every week. I'm not gonna say anything else. I've had these eight million times. Let's just <laughs> get into it. Well, I I wanted to say something else, so thanks for you. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna <laughs> give any thoughts on what I usually think of it. I just want to cut into it and have a reaction. Okay, well, I want to say what I usually think of it. I don't know that I've had this double chocolate one, but I do know that I, like you, I've had a lot of chocolate chip cookie, or a lot of crumble cookies, I should say. And their chocolate chip cookie looks so good. But when I would eat their chocolate chip cookie, I was not thrilled. Cut it. So let's see if the new chocolate makes it better for me, or if my palate has remained the same. Remain the same or change. You're still a bitch. <laughs> well, that's never gonna change. That's never gonna change. Like a lot of stuff. Okay, say what you think. My thought on crumble cookies, chocolate chip cookie, the first time I ever had it, 
I said, this is the worst chocolate chip cookie that I have ever had. What the f is going on? I think it is not a good looking cookie. I don't know why people rave over it. That tastes about the best to me that ever has. And I think it's probably because we put it in the oven. I don't know, usually when I eat them, they're just room temperature. I don't hate it, I don't love it. I do appreciate all the salt. It's whatever to me. Mm. I like it. I think it had a little bit too much salt for me, but I really like the texture. It's got this really thick texture that just like, sticks to the inside of my mouth that I really like. Um, I like it that it's thick, but it's missing that, like an ultimate chocolate chip cookie is gonna be crispy on the very outside of it. And then mm, the inside is. would be, this is not a crispy cookie. These, like, this is crispy on the outside. Mm, I, I don't know. I this guess, is an mm. overall, it's a soft baked chocolate chip. I like this a lot. I want to eat another piece of it. I'm holding back. No, eat it. No, because we got eat two it. more and then we got eat other it. things to do. Eat it. No. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> You're getting me all dirty. It's really good. <laughs> she wanted it. I did want it. <laughs> I know what she wants. I know. You like <laughs> to give it to me. <laughs> Keep it moving. What's next? That one. Do you need two hands for this? Mm -hmm. This is Seven Grams Bakery's chocolate chip cookie. This is the one I'm most excited for, just based off stupid pictures online. It looks really good. It's like a biscuit. Oh, it's cut. <clears throat> oh my god. Mm. Hold on. It looks so it's yummy. It's perfection. It's a little greasy. Yes. Yeah. Mm. All these cookies were in the oven for the same exact amount of time. Mm -hmm. And look at how melty. What's that? What's that flavor? The chocolate tastes weird, doesn't it? It's not a milk or a semi-sweet. The chocolate has a flavor. Oh, what is this? Trickery. It's, Trickery. Mm -mm. It's gluten-free or something. There's oh. something in that chocolate. It it's just weird. But the texture, like it, oh, it was supposed to be so good, but I don't. The, there's something, their chocolate tastes different. I bet you're right. I like the texture a lot. And the look of it, it looks perfect. I want, I want to try another piece of it because Go ahead. I, I just need, but see how runny the chocolate is? That's not right. Why didn't any of these other chocolates run like that? It's watery, it's like. Keep eating until you figure it out. Seven grams. Grams of what? And now, last competitor in the chocolate chip cookie championship. We have, I think it's the most famous cookie in the world, in the US, I don't know, but it's Levain. This is the one. This is the one that all the copycat recipes are trying to mimic. I've never had this before, have you? No, and I have been following them on social media for a long time. It's quite the buildup. Mm. Is it not? It's like a biscuit. I'm like a biscuit. In what way? I don't know. Layers of buttery goodness. <laughs> That's what it is, I'm sure. There's its innards. Here we go. Louvain, this is it. Cheers. Cheers. It's a moment we've been waiting for. I can't believe, I can't believe that that's it, that that's the Levain cookie. That's not something I would like want to have in my <clears throat> mouth all the time. That's what she said. You know what I felt mm -hmm. like when I was eating it? I thought, man, this reminds me of a pancake, but I want it to be a banana pancake <laughs> with chocolate oh. chips. I don't know why, but it's, yeah, there was nothing. Is it the fluffy texture? It, yeah, the texture, I think. I it's, don't. it's definitely not the best cookie in America. Agreed. I make a better chocolate chip cookie, in my opinion. I, I, I think I like mine better too, to be honest with you. Price tag on the ones from New York City, everything was about, Somewhere between thirty and forty dollars for a box of what, were six. they all six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for six plus shipping. Are any of them truly worth it? The the pricey ones, not to me. I feel like you could find a local cookie somewhere mm -hmm. and be just as happy. And fall in love with it wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. So I think winner on texture and appearance would be the seven grams. I agree. Texture and appearance. Winner on flavor. Today, it's gotta be a tie for me. It's between Panera and Crumble. I'm so ashamed to say this, but I I gotta tell the <laughs> truth. Listen, you know, give credit where credit's due. I think Crumble probably had the best flavor for me today too. And I do think that they have 
I mean, it's a very nice texture. I, I mean, I thought it was a good cookie. What was your I'm least saying? favorite of all the cookies? This one. The Jacques. Yes. Jacques Torres. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jacques. Yeah, I, it's just all hype, I guess. Yeah. I felt I, like that <clears> with <throat> Levain, too. It's, it's all hype. I mean, th this is a good cookie. There's no doubt about it. It's a very good cookie, but there, yeah, something was missing for me. That's why I don't know. Maybe that's why I thought this would be good if you added banana. So maybe there's an idea for you. They do Levain have bakery. other flavors with other things in them. Not, I don't think banana, but I don't know. They have your crispy edges. I thought for sure one of these would just put me right over the edge. It would be so amazing, but I couldn't stand it. I can stand it. I can stand all of them. Oh, I can I can stand them too. All right, guys, like we said, this is only round one. There's many chocolate chip cookies to go, so we need your help. Leave it in the comments. Which chocolate chip cookies do we try next? Once we do a few rounds of these, we'll let the winners speak for themselves. They can fight it out. Yeah. I know you love that. <laughs> but for now, the quest continues. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Got it in that time. You would waste all the cookies. If I didn't let her do it, she'd be doing this. Ding, 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 ding. Let's just mash them all together and then make one giant cookie. It'll be the best one ever. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Bye. Bye. Uh. <laughs> Don't put that burp in there. I thought you were gonna say, here comes the bone. <laughs> God, what is, what is on your brain? Cookies? Welcome to the Chocolate Chip Cookie Championship at Sweet Relief. I'm Natalie, <laughs> and this is Aaron. <laughs> Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to... Fuck! Welcome to the Chocolate Chip Cookie Championship here at Sweet Relief. What do we got today? Chocolate chip cookies. Let's All get kinds. In. <laughs> Let's get into it, you sweet fox. I'm gonna do it with a knife. You go ahead and do it with the knife because you guys know what has to happen. <laughs> Good day, fan maiden. <laughs>